these people are going to have to diversify. Diversify their taste. Yeah, they're going to have to diversify their taste. Their and, uh, hey, give me uh, hydro, wind, and eventually fusion power. And I don't need no stinking oil. I don't need no to buy no chips. I don't need to. You understand the transport stuff? Yeah. Oh, and I would rather have you guys somewhere watching windmills and uh, yeah. working on them <clears throat> and what have you. I had this excellent uh, thought come to me, or this feeling. My buddy and I were hanging out and talking about alternative energies yeah. and the future of technology, because obviously our technology is only getting smarter and faster. Well, of you know, mm -hmm. it's exponentially increasing. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about windmills and solar and all of this, yeah. which is fantastic. But there is something that's so much more. There's something that exists that is completely um, mm -hmm. beyond this. Employing the same techniques of how when you, you know, in the olden days you have a river, right. pours down, turns the buckets, which mm -hmm. spins the rod, mm -hmm. which somehow you create electricity off that, you can power light bulbs and all this. I don't mm -hmm. understand the science behind it. Right. But this crop circle picture that I saw made me think that if there was a way you could construct this sphere, mm -hmm. cube, triangle sphere, mm -hmm. and set it up so that as soon as you pull the pin, using the spin of the earth, the gravity of right, the earth right. and the sun, mm -hmm. once you pull the pin, this thing gets set in motion just based on the natural earth well, movement, you know, well, free right. energy for the whole world. But you, right? you must take into consideration gravity and redundancy. If it is not so that it has some type of a power source to, or cannot generate some type of power source to keep rolling, then ultimately it's going to ease to a halt. However, you can probably satisfy that situation by sitting it on a little platform and pushing it out in the average river. The waves of the water or the motion of the water itself will give you the motion you need to get your machine going and keep it going. Yes. See what I'm talking about? Okay. And that would work so because we don't have to necessarily depend upon the gravitational pull of the earth and its electromagnetic forces just let the water bob it. Yes. And uh, once you get it to rolling, then you got it. Yes, yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Put the ball in there, run your wires, you know, into a transformer, and just throw the ball on the water. The motion of the water is going to start the ball inside of it. You know what I mean? Then you're going to generate electromagnetic current that you can, uh, you can pump out. To the house, yeah, yeah, Free and energy. a guy, uh, an Indian guy out in California, has created a, a thing called the Bloom Box. I don't know if you heard it. You heard of it? My friend oh, Janak no. in Sioux Falls had been talking about this. This, this Indian thing, guy who created this right, box. It's a box. The Bloom Box. Yeah, that uh, that has uh, a kind of plastic sheet like sheets that slide in. Mm -hmm. One side of the sheet is dark, the other side is clear or what? And wherever the wind blows, if the wind blows through it, the, the chemo reaction in the plates creates electromagnetic current. And there's no moving parts, no nothing. You can set it up in China, the mm -hmm. high desert, anywhere. And it will continue to create. Now, Google yeah. has it set up running a portion, a great portion of his headquarters, and others. Are they, using this bloom box? Using the bloom box. Okay. You know what I mean? This technology is akin to uh, technology that was used thousands of years ago yeah. in ancient Egypt uh, to run the machines to levitate the stones and things of this nature. Uh, also, it is quite possible that there would have been a rendition of this thing that resulted and that's what you call the Ark of the Covenant because mm -hmm. apparently it had no moving parts and just the winds of the deserts and the plains yeah. would fire it up and it was a communication device uh, with them up there you know, yeah. like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's totally true, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Knowledge, knowledge. oh man yeah.